Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're back with our buddy Ethan today. So this is a fun one to get into today, dude, because this is a car you acquired recently. It's got some history to it. So why don't we give people the quick, brief history of 99? 99 was uh, raced by Dan Lucao for 30 years. He started racing when he was my age. Yeah. Uh, now I have the opportunity to do this, and yeah. I'm, you know, getting seat time and getting used to it. But that you're now going out and racing it, I love that, dude. I love that you've gone from street driving, having some fun on a track day, to now you're actually semi-competitively racing the car. It's gonna keep getting better and better. Yeah. I, I can't wait. So, so what do we have? What are, what's our engine here? It's an early 302 four bolt main, like Trans Am, with Yates heads on it. Very built with a lot of racing tricks that yeah. I don't even know, and Got I will it. probably never know because then I would do it myself. It's Mako that built this engine, right? Mako Motorsport, Jim Francis, uh, and Mike Eisenberg. It's Mike Eisenberg's company, and Jim Got works it. for him and builds these engines, and he's yeah. an amazing engine builder. This has fully adjustable uh, Penske shocks and many, many straight bars going through this to stabilize this car. It's basically mm -hmm. a full-frame car. It handles like no other car I've ever driven, and I mean, as far as an no. old Mustang that I don't drive new cars, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the what's the transmission in it? It's Jericho dog box, uh, super tall, you know, 20 first gear, so it's it goes for a while. Right. So this is one where you got to kind of get in it to get it rolling because it it's such a right. tall. It doesn't first like gear. to go slow, so right. You got to right. get it up, get it up right. there. And you probably got what a 60, 70 mile an hour first gear. At least, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> How about brakes? It's it's. Full race brakes, they oh, make yeah. a lot of noise no matter what. I know, I heard in the video every time you're on them, but that, whatever, that's performance braking. Yeah, AP you know. racing. They stop really well, yeah, of course. It's a very fast car, it has very good brakes. Just everything about it, it's like th this is the car we saw racing when I was a little kid. So it's usually straight pipe. You guys are gonna laugh because this is a car with mufflers right now. <laughs> usually it's absurd loud, now it's just obnoxiously loud. But it's still got, do you, know, do you know torque and horsepower on this engine? Well, it's upwards of 650 on the horsepower, and the torque is way up there as well. Yeah. Um, and that's plenty for this light car. Oh yeah, I mean, what's this weight? 2,800 pounds probably? Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm bummed I don't get to go for a ride in it. If you guys didn't notice, this is a full-blown single-seat race car. It's not street legal. Not at all. We've trailered it down to Mexico and we're gonna do a quick little drive around the streets of Mexico here. But it's fully caged. It's, God, this is as raw as it gets, isn't it? You like my air conditioner? Is that what that is? Is that for a cool suit or <laughs> yeah. for your helmet or something? Yeah. So what are all the switches here? What is that? Ignition, two fuel pumps, oil pump, the air conditioner. Where's your Speedo? What Speedo? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have no idea I'm how fast kidding. I go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had a guy tell me, he's like, you don't want to know how fast you're going. Dude, there's, this door feels like it weighs like an ounce. Right. There's like no <laughs> weight in this at all. I've never even seen, I think this is the only time I've seen it open because you always just crawl through, right? Since you yeah, there's no point to open there. it, so yeah. I don't open it, but yeah. Wow, this is so bitching. I can't believe you own this now, Ethan. I can't either. I, you know, I'm very grateful and, and still in shock. It's, yeah. It's awesome. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive it and Dan's proud that I'm doing this and, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so fun. Well, cool. Let's do the let's do the driving and uh, wake the neighbors part. Heck yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Fuel pumps, oil pressure, got pressure. We're good to go. Fire in the hole. Hey you guys, before we go for a drive, a big thanks to Off The Record for sponsoring today's episode. Off The Record will pair you with a local attorney that will help either get your ticket completely dismissed or at least reduce the fine. When your average ticket fine is $150, you might think that's not a big deal. When you think about that your insurance costs could rise, it's seriously something to consider. Off The Record has a 97% success rate in getting you out of your ticket or at least reducing the fine. If they're unable to do either of those, you will get a money back guarantee. If you use the discount code Autotopia LA, you're gonna get a 10% discount. So I highly recommend checking out Off The Record. All right, you guys, let's go for a drive.
nothing quite as cool as taking a B production race car out on the streets for a little cruise. Big thanks to our buddy Ethan. And here's the only other one we've ever shot on the street. So enjoy this Camaro as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.